Hello, Mr. Kaczynski with you. Going to work on volume of cylinders in this video, part of section T and IXL's eighth grade math. Just four examples for you. So when we did volume of prisms, we used this formula. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. And really, this is the same exact thing. So for a cylinder, the area of the base is a, cir or the base is a circle. We would call this the base. There's one on the bottom as well. So it's pi r squared. That's how you find the area of a circle. And then we multiply by the height of the prism. All right, here we go. 3.14 times 5 is the radius squared times 8. That's the height of the prism. All right, at this point, I think we can just reach for our calculator and take some shortcuts here. Let's do 3.14 times 5 squared times 8. 628. 628 meters cubed for the volume cubic meters. So the area of the base is in red there. It's just the area of that circle. That's going to be square meters. And then when we multiply by the height, that's meters. Square meters times meters is cubic meters. Let's do this again. Volume equals pi r squared h. So 3.14 is going to be our approximation of pi. Now on this one, we're given 6 is the diameter. We want the radius, which is 3. All right, so times 3 squared, not 6. And then times the height, which is 4. Now when you're punching this into the calculator, you can take some shortcuts if you want to avoid doing the exponents you know in the calculator we know that 3 squared is 9 so we could take that step um, and then multiply by 4 113.04 113.04 and that'll be cubic centimeters for our measurement let's do another one like that Volume equals pi r squared, it's the area of the base, times h. Pi will use 3.14. The radius is half of the diameter. So if the diameter is 5.2, then the radius is going to be 2.6. And our height is 6.9 millimeters. I could show multiple steps, but I think it's easiest if we just grab the calculator from here. 3.14 times 2.6 to the second power times 6.9. We're going to round this to the nearest hundredth. That's two decimal places, so 146.46. Millimeters cubed, cubic millimeters. All right, one more, and this one is a little bit different because we're working backwards to figure out the radius and we're given the volume. So again, volume equals pi r squared h. That's our formula. It's the area of a circle and then how many circles are stacked on top of each other. All right, our volume is that huge number right there, 11,190. 0.96, and that equals 3.14 times the radius squared times the height, which is 11. So on this one, let's do 
Let's simplify the right side a little bit. Let's do 3.14 times 11. Which is 34.54. R squared. Then we'll divide both sides by 34.54 to get the R squared by itself. So 11190.96 divided by what was it again? 34.54. That's 324. And then we'll take the square root of both sides to get r by itself. So let's go square root of my previous answer, and that is 18. The square root of 324 is 18. So 18 feet is the radius. Looking through this skill, I didn't see anywhere they asked us the diameter, but if they did ask us the diameter, we just have to multiply that radius by 2. All right, volume of cylinders, good luck. Let me know how it goes.